Is uh, now uh, 618. Betsy Kling in the house and I was looking, I was peeking at the forecast <laughs> for Father's Day. It looks good. Looks amazing so far. Russ, do your kids give you the little coupons? No. Free snuggles. Oh, the dishes, no, I don't get those. Room. No I'm Maserati or Lamborghini that. or coupons. <laughs> he doesn't want your dad, <laughs> Betsy. I'll still do that <laughs> just because. But I'll tell you what, we have had a beautiful day today. We're expecting beautiful weather to continue for us. My clicker, of course, I get back. It is not working. Somebody turned it off. I wonder how that happens. That's kind of an amazing feat. Uh, but there it is. Over the next few hours, you can see the temperatures fading back through the 70s into the 60s. We are going mostly clear skies as we get into the overnight. Northerly breezes continue along the lakeshore. It has been a phenomenal summer afternoon, right? The summer heat, you can feel it without it being too terribly oppressive. We're in the uh, upper 70s and low 80s farther south. More cloud cover south. You can kind of see where the stripe of heat is across the area. The cloud cover is all on the backside of an upper level low. Now, typically we get these in the wintertime and in the spring, and we've had a couple of them that have snuck up the East Coast uh, so far this late spring. And as we're headed toward the start of summer on Saturday, this thing is still going to be hanging around. It's slowly going to start to fill in, open up, and basically that means it's going to fall apart. And that's because of another storm system that's going to sneak in here from the northwest. So where does that leave us? Well, anytime you get cold air overriding warm air at the surface, you're going to have instability. And so we're throwing a few shower chances into the forecast. There's a couple other little pieces of the puzzle to put together for you in your National Design Mart hour by hour outlook. First of all, by midnight, we're still in the 60s. Great night for a midnight stroll. We've got partly cloudy skies in the morning. Notice that the wind is out of the southeast. Temperatures right around 60 or so. And you can kind of see how all the clouds and the showers are coming at us from the east. But as the day goes on, you can see things start to get very active once we get into the afternoon. Ah, Lake Erie. Yes, once again, the good old lake gets in on the action because with that heat, the lake is still sitting at pretty cool temperatures. That's going to force a bit of a lake breeze in. That lake breeze acts like a trigger in these instances where we have this little bit of instability. You fire up that lake breeze and that's going to bring in these chances for showers and thunderstorms closer to the lake shore. It's just plain old cold air loft that brings up these shower chances farther south. Could have uh, some rumbles of thunder involved with that, but a lot of this is diurnal, meaning it's daytime driven so that by the time we get into the evening, it all falls apart. Speaking of summer and uh, it's starting on Saturday, there's our upper level low. You can see it kind of fading away right as we get into the weekend. That's some good news. But once we get into uh, early next week, cooler weather is here, but not for long because we have a big heat uh, wave that's going to start by the end of next week. So here's a look at your Universal Windows Direct Outlook. Temperatures climbing through the 80s as we go through the rest of the week with those isolated rain chances thanks to the low. Close to 90 on Sunday, then temperatures fall off a little bit back into the low and mid 80s as we head through the rest of next week. So Father's Day, not a washout, Russ. All right, sounds great. Thank you, Betsy.